December 7th, 2017, like nine-ish in the morning. And the verdict seems to be in. I went to see my counselor today. Um, I reached out to a counselor a few weeks ago, had my first session then, had my second one today. I'm so glad that I went. I almost decided not to just because pregnant and tired. <laughs> It was early in the morning, but I'm so glad that I did. I have a book that she's gonna that she recommended that I read, and I'm definitely going to. Um, with the information that I've given her, without her assessing him um, personally, what she said to me is what I heard before. She's like, "It sounds like this man is a sociopath," and everything that I've been reading up on sociopaths makes a lot of sense. And it feels good to hear someone else say that because this individual gaslighted me so much that I had to question my own reality, my own sanity in things that intuitively I knew. One of the things that she asked me was, what made you so tolerant of the things that he did? Because I mentioned one thing that he did that it was a big deal but at the time I allowed it to continue and she looked at me and she said you know that was enough for you too and she literally showed me physically what she would have done which is boot him out the door <laughs> and so she asked me what made you so tolerant to his behavior even at that point so I'm thinking about that um, my response at that moment was patient just being patient with people and I've always thought you know we all fuck up sometimes and people deserve the opportunity to show that they're good people and that they do have good qualities but no I became way too patient and that I became way too tolerant of his bullshit and it only got worse and it got worse and it got worse it never got better it's not like he reached a point where it's like, you know, this is a good woman. She's putting up with my bullshit. Let me be, um, let me behave. <laughs> they never do that. People like that never do that. So, it never worked out well for me. I've learned a lot in this, in this instance. I have. So anyways, she, she's given me a book on sociopaths. And um, I'm going to read it for sure. Um. And this was, I told him the actions and some of the things that we went through, some of his reactions, but I haven't even told her some of the things that he told me or some of the things that he told the people that he was with, the, the people that he ended up with. Um, that's some crazy shit though. It was crazy shit that I found out that he was saying and the way he was talking. I mean, this guy hit rock bottom mentally. And the people that used to know him once upon a time said, I don't, I don't even want to know anymore about this person. Um, he's not the person. He's not the man that I used to know. And uh, he's no friend of mine. So, had quite a few people who wanted to delete him, like, out of social media and stuff. And whatever, you know, it's their choice. I did mention to one or two, it's like, no, you know, just give him a chance. <laughs> See if he turns his life around. Last time I spoke with him, he didn't want to have anything to do with some kind of help. So, he's not going to. And you know what? I'm glad that I'm going to these sessions because it's helping me realize that I wash my hands. It's okay for me to wash my hands clear of this. And my feelings on the situation are validated. My feelings on everything that's happened between him and I are validated. I'm not some crazy person who's like irrationally like asking for things. No, no. Everything that I asked him to be um, in our situation were things that he should have been, you know, honest and open and um, don't do things that jeopardize our relationship or that hurt each other's feelings, you know, or put us first. You should never have to ask anybody to do those things. 
if they want to be with you, they're going to automatically. So I've learned a lesson. I've learned many lessons here. Like I said, I'm done putting in so much effort. I'm done being tolerant of bullshit. I'm done not listening to my intuition and just stri strictly following my heart. No. It's my heart and my intuition now. This is how I'm going to live because my intuition knows better. Um, I'm just too stubborn sometimes. I'm a Leo <laughs> and it gets me in trouble. I'm stubborn. I'm also a woman that takes, takes a lot of punches in situations like this. But, dude, don't fuck with me. Because if you really do, if you are fucking with me, there's going to be trouble. You can only push me so far before I'm like, mm -mm, I'll push you back. And I'm going to pause it here because there's a guy coming. <laughs> he has headphones. I think we're good. So anyway, that is the gist of it. I'm feeling better. She looks at me and she's like, how are you together? How are you keeping it together? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I said, this is me reaching out. Get professional help is not my norm. Usually I just kind of figure things out on my own. I said, and I've been doing that since I was a kid, figuring things out on my own. I kind of raised myself. So me reaching out is because this really, this really broke me. This really broke me. Spiritually, it, it broke me soulfully. It broke me as a as a woman as it broke my self esteem it just broke me as a person and I'm um, you know I know as a person as the human side of me and I needed I needed some guidance some help someone to say hey I'm with you this is bullshit you know twisted my reality into up to a point he was so good at what he did just twisted my reality to a point where I had to question my own sanity like what the fuck I see this happening it's happening right in front of me how can you say it's not you know, so it's nice to get some kind of validation. And it's nice to, through that validation, I'm learning to let go of that bullshit. Learning to let go of someone who's not worth a damn thing. And that's the beauty of this, I think, that I'm learning. Because, you know, I'm still emotionally, to some extent bonded with him I mean I'm having his child so that's something but I'm learning that the attachment is no good and I'm feeling good about it I'm feeling good about what I'm gaining from this and I'm thankful thank you universe for giving me some kind of sanity to seek help and talk to someone because it's it's just it's validating and it's it's healing and it's helping little by little and she's such a great person I mean it's funny like I wear rings on my fingers like I love wearing rings on my fingers and um, I'm a little eccentric sometimes and She's definitely eccentric herself, and she's got a lot of rings on her fingers, and um, her office is really cool. <laughs> Has a lot of art and stuff, but, um, yeah. So before I make this into a 10-minute video, um, my life is changing. I plan to leave this beautiful place, hence I'm recording it as much as I possibly can. Um, but I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm doing well and I plan to like a phoenix pick myself like be reborn from these ashes into something amazing 
fire is my sign as it is. I'm a lioness. So this can break me, but it's beautiful. I can repair myself from those ashes. I will be reborn. And guess what? It's going to be amazing. <laughs> because I am like that. <laughs> so, oh, you guys. That is my update. 